Good afternoon. My name is Charles Hammond. I'm the owner and master instructor for the RAP Safety Restraint. Uh, we've been serving law enforcement, corrections, hospitals uh, for nearly 25 years. We're very proud of what we do because there's never been more important of a time to be able to still control a combative, dangerous situation, but do so in a faster manner, positioning that person upright in a seated position of recovery, and then be able to assess, adjust, and give care fast. As we all know, the shorter the fight, the safer it is for everybody. The sooner we can get them upright and able to breathe and respirate and recover, the better it is for everybody. And the sooner we're able to uh, provide medical care for somebody who may be in medical or emotional distress is critical to the preservation of life, keeping all personnel on the scene safe, uh, and being able to limit and lower liability for all personnel uh, on the scene. We're proud to serve law enforcement, we're proud to serve corrections. Uh, we appreciate all that you do. God bless you, take care of yourselves and each other, and see you around, thank you. Three goals of what we're trying to accomplish. We want to stop the conflict quickly. We want to get them upright so they can breathe in a position of recovery. And then we want to assess, suggest, and give care. So we have somebody who's gone down. We need to control them and get the situation back to a de-escalated state. So here comes the wrap. Anchor strap comes out. Hand that to my partner. You put the anchor strap on while I lay the leg restraint in place. And I dive back in to give support. That needs to go on firm and fast. Well, you're going to grab the handle and the ankle strap, lift straight back and up, and call it check knees, check knees as we slide this under the body. Check knees, check knees. There you go. You want to make sure that it's in the right position. Pin the legs to the ground. You're going to hand me all three straps. I'm going to buckle, and you're right behind me, tightening, tightening, tightening. There we go. Excellent. We're going to roll him on his side, take the remaining slack out. You're going to pin the feet to the ground. Oops, sorry, that's my fault. That's step one, stop the fight quick. You feel any pain? No. Let's go to step two, which is get him up to a position of recovery. Harness comes out because it was packed right smoothly without any knots or kinks. Make sure the head goes through the two straps, watch the buckles on the head, lock the cuffs in the carabiner. Close that down. We're gonna simulate taking a spit hood out for our protection in his and put a spit hood over the top of his head. We're going to tuck the arms, straps through the arms, which you already did. Now we're going to roll him up to a seated position. I'm going to pin his head to his body as 12 and counties approach, right? Lock the straps in, pull back towards the elbow. Snug, not cinched. Let's lock the tethering down by the feet. Take the slack out, hand it to me. I'm going to block his face so he can't bite me. I'm not pushing his head forward, but yet to the sides. Lean forward with my knees, remove the slack. I'm going to ask my partners, is he leaning back? Yes. I'm going to put a helmet on him, always for safety. Velcro so it's not a choking hazard. Is he leaning back? Yes. Do we have a gap between the chest and the harness for respiration? Yes. Is he breathing? I'm going to say yes. That is the wrap in three steps. Stop the fight quick, get him upright quick to a position of recovery, and assess, adjust, and give care as needed.